This is a message to Boniac. So you dare make a video ripping on Anakin 1814. A self-proclaimed Mr. Nice Guy. A self-proclaimed Big Brother. A self-proclaimed purveyor of respect. But you have unleashed his anger. You have unleashed his fear. You have unleashed his pain. Oh yes, Boniac. You've unleashed Dark Anakin. I want to start this by saying how impressed I was with your little video response. You start out your video mocking my appearance. This comes from somebody with a puppeteer's hand rammed up his rectum. His decaying rectum, I might add. This comes from a man who Joan Rivers strives to look like. The last time I saw a nobody make jokes about somebody like me was on some cheap-ass celebrity roast on Comedy Central. Let's talk about the whole bone thing for a minute, shall we? Your appearance isn't the only thing that's made out of bones. I looked at your subscriber list, all, what, 12 of them? That seems like quite a bone crew, too. Skin and bones, perhaps. And yet, you cling on to the success of Dr. Metropolis, Momo Delicious, and the likes of Anakin 1814. Like a leech or a vulture. And when a vulture circles around, you know death is around. You kind of look like death. But don't give yourself that much credit. Death at least had a nice dress. You're nothing but a big head. You're a man on the moon without the man. And, while we're talking about the man, I have to mention your fascination with my genitalia, or as you called it, my mangina. You want to see it, don't you? You want to see it. And you say I'm a reject. Boniaco, Bonio, whatever your name is, Skeletor. I haven't seen a case of penis envy this bad. What should I expect? Considering yours have decayed a long, long time ago. Just like your poor, pathetic career. Let the truth be known, bone guy. You are just a reject. You tried out for the sidekick job of the Dr. Metropolis videos. And you weren't funny enough. You weren't even thin enough. You're a mockery. Runway models laugh at you. And what's it like being made completely out of bones? Being a walking boner? My dog would turn its nose up at you so, Bonio Cole, what's it like being so petty, so evil, pure evil? But that's giving you too much credit, isn't it? To say you are evil is giving you credit to having some type of ultimate purpose. To say you are a reject say you are pathetic. That is where the truth lies. And will we ever see the puppeteer 
behind this bone man. Time will tell. Perhaps you are afraid to show your real self. Perhaps you are afraid to go mano e mano. It's one thing to be a talking head with an anus on the backside. And I understand your bitterness with life. Walking around with your anus, your sphincter, your rectum, so close to your brain. What's it like when people mistake you for George W. Bush? Yes, this is the dark side of Anakin 1814. I'm not hating, I'm only participating with the rules and regulations set up by a talking skull. So thank you, dear watcher. Thank you, all my fans. So many of you compared to this poor, pathetic, little skull. Who's latching on to my success and the success of others? But I'd be later that point, haven't I? So, Skeletor, thank you for unleashing the darkness for unleashing the ego. Thank you for showing your true self in your analysis of me. Look at yourself. Or can't you? Because your eyes have rotted out. Like your tongue, your genitalia, and your heart. Which I'm sure back when you had one was cold, dark, and small.